Now, here's Chief Meteorologist Tony Petrarca with your live Pinpoint Doppler 12 Futurecast. Well, keeping an eye on two significant uh, weather fronts this week that will bring substantial temperature changes. One is a strong warm front, and then it's really going to boost the temperatures up next couple of days, especially Wednesday. The other is a strong cold front, and towards the end of the week and towards the weekend, the temperatures really start to go down. So kind of that roller coaster ride as far as the temperatures go. Take a look at uh, the readings outside right now under mainly cloudy skies. Cool, but not as chilly as last night. Gloucester at 55 as well as Smithfield here in Providence 57. Looking at low 60s along the south shore from Westerly, Nintegrate Park, uh, Newport 61 and New Bedford coming in cool at 53. So here's that roller coaster ride. I mean, it's cool now. Big warm up for midweek. You'll notice it a little bit tomorrow afternoon, really turning it up on Wednesday, a temperature at around 90 before we get that uh, cool down later in the week and by the weekend. Now, as far as any substantial showers and thunderstorms, just a small chance of a passing shower tomorrow morning. Really not a big deal. Wouldn't call, wouldn't call tomorrow a rain day. Though on Thursday, with that strong cold front approaching, a better chance for some showers and thunderstorms later Thursday afternoon, Thursday evening. Some of these could be on the strong side, so that's something that we'll keep an eye on. Also watching a brand new tropical storm, Umberto. This is in the um, far eastern Atlantic. I mean, it is literally on the other side of the Atlantic. It is far, far away. In fact, here's southern New England right in here. and several thousand miles across the ocean. Actually, this is the coast of Africa is tropical storm Umberto with top winds of 50 miles per hour. Yeah, we watch this part of the world closely because some famous East Coast hurricanes have had their origins off the coast of Africa. So obviously this is far away anticipated to become the season's first hurricane as it moves to the west and northwest over the next several days, still in the far eastern Atlantic. So obviously many, many days to be watching that closer to home, cloudy, cool and dry temperatures in the 50s and 60s as we widen out the view. Very warm air trying to work in and initially it does create clouds, even some showers, a couple of ones across central Pennsylvania and we'll watch for one or two of these to come through here uh, tomorrow morning. Morning. I want to show you the wider view over the next 48 hours and show you the progression of the warm to hot air. Now keep in mind, it's coming from this direction across the Midwest. Just follow the clock right up in here. This is this evening and overnight. Now tomorrow morning at around 9 o'clock, we're starting off at 68 and we are seeing warmer temperatures for tomorrow afternoon in the upper 70s. Tomorrow night's not nearly as cool. Now here we are Wednesday morning, 8 a.m. It's already 72 and then watch the the intrusion of hot air coming in from the Midwest, New York and Pennsylvania by Wednesday afternoon, upper 80s to low 90s. It's been a while since we've had 90 degree weather and it is likely by midweek. Take a look at your future cast for uh, this evening and overnight showing the cloud streaming in. Now watch early in the morning, one or two showers around eight o'clock in the morning coming through zipping on out and then during the afternoon the clouds decrease some brightening so skies turn partly sunny once we get even some partial sun tomorrow afternoon that'll cause the temperatures to warm up nicely easily getting up into the upper 70s by around three four o'clock in the afternoon so for tonight cloudy and dry uh, temperatures in the mid 50s now tomorrow morning starting with clouds just a quick passing shower not every spot will get one temperature at 70 partly sunny by tomorrow afternoon breezy warmer and more humid at 78 and then Obviously much warmer on Wednesday up to 90 watching for some of these scattered strong thunderstorms on Thursday 82. It cools back down. It dries out for Friday. A nice weekend Saturday and Sunday. It is real fallish and comfortable, but it is much cooler. Upper 60s to low 70s Saturday and Sunday and nighttime temperatures in uh, the 40s. So improving weather tomorrow afternoon in terms of sunshine. Here comes summer on Wednesday and then we'll watch for some strong thunderstorms on Thursday. It's been a while since we've had some heat, but we'll get it for at least one day. I like it. Yeah. Much more to coverage. Come to